Welcome between these hallowed hedges, Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where they've had a little chicken, they've had a little drink, and friends, it's time once again to let the big dogs eat. What a game, and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road right. and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. Georgia likely to kick it deep to get things started. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. The Wildcats return team certainly didn't do the offense any favors there. There he is, the man who makes everything go, and they believe they're going to score every time they touch it when he's on the field, Jesse. He plays with unbelievable confidence, Reese. He always knows where to go with the football game. And one's tough. Is at this guy's disposal. Yeah, which is so much fun for a coach. So much fun to play with a guy that can do everything. Everybody on the field is active in a way. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. It'll be a draw. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. You know what I really like about games like this at this point in the season? You find out who you are. You find out whether you're going to stand on it. And who can step up and handle the challenge, right? This is easily one of the toughest games to date for both of these programs coming into this one. So there's a little bit of high balls, David, on this game to find out who's mentally and emotionally the toughest. Yeah, and here's a fumble right behind. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. The defense with the scoop and score. Uh, what a play by the okay. defense. Okay. Loose football. Country fumble. Pick it up with room, scoop and score. No doubt. Country versus city was a country fumble on the way around. I got to pick that puppy up and do some damage with it. Nice job seeing the situation, scooping it up, making a play. They're just about to kick it off after that scoop and score six. And they desperately wanted to attempt to return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They'll put this one in play first snap of the drive from the 25. He's going to pass. Looking left. Holds it in. Good call. Good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He wants to throw. Get it out on the screen. He makes the stop and a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. These guys have really performed at a high level in SEC play, and the task is to try to keep this groove going. Yeah, when you start the season like this, man, this is exactly what you drew up. Win your conference. Be great in your conference. Get to the conference championship. He's going to throw deep right side. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. And he'll hold it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats! Yeah, coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring, so they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. Lining up for the PAT. Splits those uprights right in half. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the scoring play coming on a 56-yard touchdown pass. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Bulldogs offense will try to get something going with their first possession. And there's no doubt, guys, we will be focused on these two star playmakers on the outside. I'm curious to see how much man coverage we're going to see today. I don't know if either of these defenses is confident enough to go mano a mano with these two dudes on the field. They're two of the best in the nation. These cornerbacks are looking for man to man coverage. I can promise you that. I'd be like, give me some help over here. But we're going to see some split screens, and we're going to see who had more catches, who had more yards. We're definitely going to be breaking that down this game. 
The Bulldogs brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll put the tight end in motion. Caught in the backfield, it's Bell. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Here comes the offense on second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. From the gun, wants to pass. Quick strike complete. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets it up for the first down. This Georgia offense moving quickly down the field. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Leaves him with the running back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Love seeing these early season top 25 matchups. You can get a really good feel of yep. how good these teams are, guys. And the intensity is going to be big, too, David, because the players, you know, on these teams, they've been thinking about this game for a long time. They knew they'd have a national stage, and they got a chance to prove just how good they are. Oh, man, make that state. Make that early state. We always look at the end of the season, and, and what does the committee say? Oh, they beat top 25 so-and-so. Here's your chance to put that on your resume that'll pay off big time in late the season. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. Well, this offense is sending a little bit of a message here. Of course, we know how much they've struggled on third down all season long. They're just never able to seem to get into a rhythm. But after that last running play moving the sticks, you just wonder what that does for their confidence. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense. Man. Ten, I mean, Georgia is really good. Wide out in motion. Got it in the middle, it's Lewis. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. And that's a great example of this quarterback having intense confidence in his own arm talent. That was not an easy window to throw into, but he had the ability and he knew it. Give to the running back. Give him about a yard on the play. It's down at the 10. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. He'll pull it on the read. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. Between the uprights, it's good. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. After putting up the three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time, wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. They'll line up for a second down play. They'll give it to the back. At the 40, there he goes! And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Well, on that one, they decide to attack the left outside on the ground, and you see the speed by the ball carrier there. He's picking up a huge chunk of yards. I can't imagine any reason. Going for it all. And incomplete on the deep ball. You know, as an offense, you just don't get that many great opportunities in games to hit these type of big-time plays. When plays like that present themselves and receivers are open, as a quarterback, you have got to make that throw. Safe completion on the screen. Got room at the 35. 
so close to that end zone. He can almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. And what a play call. Yes, so. Yes, this defensive line flying upfield. What do you do? Throw a screen right behind it. Get it to your running back. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Kentucky. Follow the block. The offensive line will take you to the Hallelujah Land. And that's a boy. Most of the time, this requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Flying up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David. The chip shot field goals can leave you a little late. And yeah, I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You gotta get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Able to pick up a couple on first down, second and eight from their own 27. Fast motion from the offense. Off the boot, looking for his man. Throws to the tight end. A strike downfield. He's right out of bounds, but the ball to try to make a pick up and moving the sticks for a first down. Looking to move it through the air. Got the quick pass. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. You know, and that's a route this offense practices all week long. You really have to have great timing when you're throwing those out routes. There's nothing a defender can do on that one. Perfectly thrown, well caught. Nice job getting his feet in They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. He's knocked down in the back. Maybe he can stop them. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been... I love that dog, huh? It looks so real. He wants to throw. They'll run the screen. Oh, we did it. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front ball to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Georgia going back to work with another first down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. I'll say this, man, in college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First up, being there at the point of attack. Once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt. He was going down. Great job for him, Tackle. Oh, he left him grabbing. And he waltzes in for a score. Touchdown, Georgia. One step wrap, two step squeeze. See what you hit, hit what you see, bring your feet. Yeah, none of that happened. Yeah, those are all great things to keep in mind, but you're also trying to tackle another man against his will and get him on the ground. And the extra point puts him up by a field goal. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup today. Fellas, let's show you what's going down. Texas is currently ahead early in this one in TKR. They just haven't been able to separate themselves offensively. They're up by seven over Oklahoma. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, we'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Looking for a productive play on first down. Takes the handoff. It's Patterson. And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. Might as well give it to him again. Just 
working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. To the air, it's Vandergrift. Unloads to the wideout. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. He lost one down the sideline. Bandage slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Kentucky sends out the punting unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time. It took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups... Very nice. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Clock ticks down, under four minutes to go in the half. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Catch in the middle, it's Humphreys. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And the Bulldogs getting set on first and ten. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Pushes ahead for a couple, they'll mark it at the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Keeps it on the bootleg. Pressure coming. The freshman able to get home with the sack. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. This is a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Using the spin move. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down mark. And I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Georgia sends out the punt team. Gets his first one of the day away, and that matches his total from that victory last week. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Wants to throw. It's Vandergrift. Pocket starts to collapse. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Throwing right. He's got it. Solid work and execution there. They will have a first down as they mark it at the 40. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner. Got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him. And especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. The clock has reached the two-minute mark. And they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. He's going to pass. A shot toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. This offense has a second down play. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. 
Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, he got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy if he wants to. Always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they're ready to go again. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. They've already got a bunch of sacks on them today and another quarterback pressure. This offense has to try to find a way to get the ball out a little bit more, to protect their quarterback a little bit more. Whether it's screens, whether it's draws, whether it's rolling with the quarterback, something has to change for this offense to protect their quarterback a little bit more. Seventh play of the drive coming up and a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. Another incompletion on third down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there. When it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. And that is just about a perfect punt as he pins them deep inside the 10 yard line. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time. Oh, picked off. Got some room to run. A pig. What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he did the pick six. Hey, these guys can play all that was fun. I showed you like plenty of wide receivers. Coach might split them out of wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. And the extra point is good. And it's a four-point lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know what they were talking about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. you got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. <laughs> Big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball. But great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it. And the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw. Yes. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires to the big fella. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Now I'm second and short after the first down completion. He's looking to throw. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. They'll throw on third and short. Got it in the middle. It's Humphreys. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped him. Here they come to try it again on second and ten from the 29. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Got his man downfield. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. And guys, how much better does it feel if you go to that locker room with a lead? They have a chance to do it here. Working that left side now. 
They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Wants to fire on second down. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. And sometimes you see great shooters and they get on fire and they just can't miss. And that's what this QB looks like the last couple weeks, man. Just completion percentage through the roof, running the offense at an elite level. You can tell in complete control of this offense. Third and goal, and they'll try to pass it in. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, dogs! Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. And the ball will make it into the end zone. No return on that one for a touchback. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. They're bringing heat. He can't find his man, and the clock stops with six seconds left. Man, this quarterback is going to need an ice bath when this game is over because he is getting whacked. We've seen him go down. He's been sacked time and time again. He just got nailed another time on that last play. He can't wait. Fires one high and deep. He can't haul it in. Incomplete. They took a shot, but that's how we'll wrap up the half. Kentucky will boot it deep to get the second half underway. From inside his own 15, looking for a crevice. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football. Uh, I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. Very nice. The defense credit. They knew a big key in this one was slowing this dude down, especially after how well he played the last time out. They have been swarming him. They have been gang tackling him and getting a lot of penetration up front. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. What a nifty one there to pick up the first down. Bunch formation for these receivers. To the air on first down. With the catch, it's Robinson. And just a short save pass play to pick up a few. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. They go to the ground. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting him in on the ground. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed over the middle of the top right. And he is brought down, but what a move he put on that first defender. And the dogs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the ground with the back. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. This is going to be a big key for David with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. And run the football, you're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. I like the idea of going draw there. You're trying to sell pass, but you still need to do a better job up front executing those blocks. There's too many one-on-ones where they got beat. And, as we... and the quarterback runs out of time, and down he goes at the 38. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. Makes the grab! Slip through the crowd and he'll house it. Touchdown, Bulldogs! 
Well, I'm not sure who is closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. That was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one on one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question for the quarterback. Nice job. They'll try to attack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. East Carolina has the lead right now. Greenville has been buzzing all week, but this game is hardly over. There is time left on that clock. They're up by four over Tulsa. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. Knocked down at the 26 after ripping off 10 there. And that's a really nice route by the wide receiver. Just understanding, I got to win right now. I got to get inside of that guy. And I know I'm going to get contact. You're going to have a little feeling of slant. You're going to get hit. Nice job securing the catch, making the play. Forges ahead. Picks up about three to the 29. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll go right back to it. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options are on the table. Third down, man. You think this offense will want to throw it down the field, at least past the sticks. With this defense and their athleticism and speed, they gobble him up behind the line of scrimmage. On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. And it's incomplete, and this defense makes a It doesn't matter, like, we are yeah, down and we're struggling. You want them to be aggressive, you gotta continue to get stops, you got the lead. Now you give the ball back to your offense again with a chance to salt this away here in the second half. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Georgia hunkers down in the red zone. From the gun, running back on the move. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes. Nowhere near. The play action fake. Grab in the backfield. It's Humphreys. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Let's it fly deep downfield. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out the lead. And a really nice job understanding. I gotta get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him. He catches it, gets two feet in bounds in the end zone. Touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just one more play. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Kentucky has it back and the big blue offense takes the field. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. 
I hear you, Jesse, but not Hamilton and the senior defense. I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so he puts a lot of pressure on this offense. And it's pretty obvious there was a big hole in that screen, and the defense ran right through it. Line getting set on second down. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. And he holds it in at the 30. He got hit, but he caught it. Huge completion. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then holding it in. Here comes Kentucky after picking up that first down. Back to pass, it's Vandergrift. He caught it! And to the end zone! Touchdown, Wildcats! That touchdown grabbed the 25th of his career. Not surprising either. You've got this guy's ability at that position. Quarterbacks are going to be looking for you. 25 touchdown catches, that's an impressive thing. Yeah, he's definitely one of those guys that have been so big time. Big time moments, clutch plays, you know, makes those contested catches. He's a guy that can do everything, and that's why he's putting up such great stats. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. And an explosive play. Has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. The analytics nerds say the goal was at least four yards on first and ten. He wants to throw. Part of the backfield. It's Lewis. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third five, than it is when we start getting those long yard situations. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. They get through and it's blocked. That's a live ball. Defense has it. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Looking downfield, it's Vandergriff. He'll walk one deep down the left side. And he makes the catch inside the 15. And that big gainer on the last one has him ready to go from inside. Dang, dang, yeah. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Got it! Jumped on top of the pile. Well, he was putting up big numbers coming into this one. He knew the quarterback was going to go his way early and often. With that last catch, he's now got over 500 yards receiving on the year. You can't hear your... And he takes it in for the score! Touchdown, Wildcats! Lead in the game, and the confidence is building. If only there's another time... Oh, yeah, he's done! But, man, you gave yourself a chance now. Now the defense, go out, do your job. We got the moment. If you give me the ball back, I'm going to win. Let's go, defense. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And 
And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Line gets set. First down. Leaves it with the back. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the run. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Georgia lining up to punt it away. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. They did their part, score your defense does your part, Jesse. This offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing that last drive, right? Whatever well, was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down there and score a touchdown. These fans stepping up to help. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And he's got it inside the 20. Touchdown, Kentucky. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with QB is time. Being able to put the ball out of his hands to use his where he can continue to catch the football and run the We came back. We were down 17. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Florida has the lead right now, but those Gator chomps haven't come easy. They're in a tight one. They're up by 13 over Mississippi State. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. When you talk about outstanding pass rushers, you're always talking about dynamic guys, and he's been that each and every week for this defense. Speed, he's got power, you just simply can't block him, and that last play is his 10th sack of the season. Grab behind the line, it's Bell. And they pick up just a few on that completion. What a big play this one could be. Tight game, getting late, third and long coming up. Fires left. Makes a connection. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. The dogs come to the line with a new set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires to the wideout. And it's caught. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. The Bulldogs are moving quickly down the field. Back to the air one more time. Snagged in the middle. It's Robinson. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Off the play fake. Looking for the end zone. And they can't hook up. Going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. Sixth play of the drive coming up. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. Makes the catch. It's Robinson. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got it up for the first down. New set of downs after that completion. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, 
almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Second and ten. The upset? Oh, wait. He's looking to throw. Oh, the high range. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Oh, man, another incompletion. That's three in a row. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Fires deep toward the end zone. Touchdown, dogs! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space in the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer. But you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. And that's where quarterbacks, you know, they got to be very assertive. They got to believe what they see and really pull the trigger. But the longer they wait and they get off rhythm or off timing, a lot of times it ends up in incomplete passes. Complete downfield. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. Now on first down after that completion. Looking to move it through the air. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. This really has been a master class by the quarterback with decision-making, right? We've already seen him throw multiple touchdown passes in the game. He's understood when to take his shots and when to throw it away when things aren't there like on that last play. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. What? A and wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. Huge moment coming here as they try to punch it in and quiet this crazy raucous crowd. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Right back to the well. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've got a ways to go on third down from the 24 as his defense tries to force him into a field goal try. Looking to the big tight end. It's caught downfield. They make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first down. Guess what? They'll use a timeout here. You have to be certain at this point in the game. Trying to surge it in. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. The offense will use a timeout with 25 seconds left. These fans raising the volume on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. And this offense here halfway home. All you got to do is do the same exact thing, Paul. Fall forward and be physical. And that's why they practice these goal line situations, right? It's to step up and be physical in moments like this. Third and goal where the strong come through. To the air, it's Vandergrift. They're trying to get to it. Oh, and they get to him. Had a chance for an all-time finish, but the defense put a stop to it. And that's the final play. Yes, yeah, I'm saying. The scoreboard operator got a workout in this one. Fun game for us to watch, but they can't come up with the W. Yeah, and it's a team game, right? The offense did their job. 